through Minnie's unboxing. I have three of the Zulu 5 Surprise Toy Mini brands. These have been out for a while. I've had these for several months and have not gotten around to opening them. And then I found four of the Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Fashion. Now these surprise balls obviously are different. First of all, the Mini Fashion is a much larger sphere. Uh, the Toy Mini brands still open up into five segments, whereas the Mini Fashion opens up and reveals two little bags. I'm gonna start with the Mini Toys. Oh. Most of it. These are double wrapped in plastic and not impossible to open, but not exactly easy either. So we lift the little plasticky dookie and we have five segments. So that's pretty cute. A tiny little five surprise mini brand within a mini brand. And we have, oh, that's so neat. So it's some kind of like little robot dinosaur and then when you open the box, you can kind of see it. That's so cute. We also have the collector's guide. Now we have the Zuru Rainbow Corn. Now these do not open, they're just like the outer packaging, but it's still very cute. Two more. I have this one already, but it's the Crayola 64 crayon colors. This is an empty box, like the box just has like styrofoam or something inside. Yeah, it's just cardboard. Um, but it's still like super cute. Last one. Ooh, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. A tiny turtle. So cute. And this is Raphael. The outer packaging decal is a little messed up, but you can hardly see it because it's so small. Ah, another fail. Okay, so in this one, oh, we have a cart, some type of cart, shopping cart. And we have ready to roll Blaze Speedway, little race car thing. Oh, another little Crayola thing. This is washable paint. And then we have a tiny shimmer and shine. This is shine. Cute and tiny. And last one, and this is, oh, a Jojo Siwa bow. Could you actually use this as a bow? Mm, looks like it's just glued to the packaging, but very cute. Here's the cart. Not exactly to scale. Last one. We have got a narwhal fingerling. Oh, a snake, Robo Alive. Oh, a, I think this is a shelf. Another Jojo Siwa bow. Last one. Oh, another ready to roll Blaze Speedway. And here is the little shelf, but again, 
seems a little small for the items. So now let's take a look at the mini fashions. I have chipped two nails trying to open these things, so I hope this is a little easier. But, you know, probably not. So it seems like the problem is the outer plastic is stuck to the second layer of plastic and it's just really hard to peel off. That wasn't really fun to open at all, so let's hope the rest of the experience is a little better. We have two little bags and a collector's guide. And the collector's guide opens like a little bag, super cute. So this must be tiny accessories, and this is the bag. So let's open the bag first. Look what I did to my nails, trying to open these stupid things. Okay. Ooh, gold bag, nice. Oh my gosh, I love this bag. It is like a faux metallic leather with really chunky straps or handles, gold chain detail, and then this little charm detail. So cute. It's a little heart and a little key. Ooh, I like that a lot. And then our little accessories. Ooh, lots of fun stuff. Okay, we have a sticker of this person pink. That's cute. Then we have a little pink, what looks to be a wallet. It does not open, I mean the flap opens. Let's see if I can get it to close. It doesn't really want to stay closed, but it's really cute. And then we have, ooh, some light pink lipstick. That is super cute. And then we have this little bottle of perfume. That is super cute as well. The base of the bottle is more of a pliable plastic. Does it stand? Mm, it doesn't really want to stand on its own, which is kind of a bummer. The base is thinner than the rest, so it's a little top heavy. But it's still really cute and it has a little MF on it for mini fashion. First of all, I fixed my nails because it really bothered me holding tiny little things with chipped nails on camera. And secondly, I took the wrapping off, off camera using scissors so I didn't mess them up again. So let's see what we got. This time I'm gonna open the tiny accessories. Oh, I got a dog. Doesn't this look like an animal from The Secret Life of Pets? I've actually never seen that movie, but that's what this reminds me of. Ooh, I have a Tiffany Blue perfume bottle with a silver cap, super cute. I have another sticker of the same purse, except this time in silver. I have another, I guess, perfume bottle? This looks like it wants to open, but I can't get it open, so maybe it doesn't open. I like the gold top and the see-through glittery base. Now let's look at the purse. Ooh, this is pretty. This is pink and a metallic faux leather. Ooh, it's so cute. It has one long strap and then two short handles. Again, it's got tissue paper inside, but just to show you what it looks like on the inside, some faux zipper detail and some little buckle detail. Ooh, I love this purse a lot. This is super cute. Here we have the next one. I only have one more after this. And this time, let's start with the purse. Oh, we have a little animal print. Oh, it's velvety lining. And we have a long 
gold chain strap and then a short little faux leather black handle gold faux clasp but we do have a little magnet closure Ooh, this bag is nice and then we have oops the little accessories uh-oh something looks flaky. oh no the little arms of the sunglasses came off. Can I fix it? Yes. It just pops right back in. But look at these cute little sunglasses. They open and close. And the lenses are made of a different plastic than the frames. That's more detail than you normally get with Barbie glasses. We have another perfume bottle, and ooh, this one does open. So that's really cool. We have another little wallet. Let's see if I can get this one to stay closed. Okay, this one stays closed, so that's good. We have a sticker. Ooh, a new, a new purse. Don't have a sticker yet of this purse. Okay, last one. And this one, let's open the accessories first. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, it's a duplicate. It's not a duplicate sticker, same person, a different color. Oh, we got some new accessories. I think this is supposed to be a little bottle of nail polish. Cute. And we have a little brush with real bristles. How cute is that? And we have another pair of sunglasses. And then here comes the bag. Ooh. Oh, it's the bag I got a sticker of. Look at that. This is perfect. Again, we have a little magnet closure, little gold clasp, some gold metal chain strap with faux leather detail. I love the quilting. You know what would make this more perfect? If this was a light pink, with this quilting pattern, it almost looks like a Chanel purse, and if it were a light pink, it would be perfect for Bella. But as it is, it'll have to be for Stella. And then this one can be for Bella. And I'm talking about my Rainbow High dolls because I think these will be the perfect size for them. I, th I decided that Brianna matched that shade of pink better for that purse. The toys are the perfect scale for most one six scale dolls. Like Barbie, Rainbow High, Ever After High, Monster High, what have you. The purses are really too big for Ever After High and Monster High. You can get away with them for Barbie, but I think they work best with dolls that are proportioned like Rainbow High dolls. I think they're super cute. I love the detail. The mini fashion ones are $9.99 each, which I guess you could think of as kind of pricey because you're only getting one bag and then a little grouping of accessories. However, if you were to order that kind of a level of detailed bag on Etsy or something like that, it would be a lot more than $9.99. So I think the price is worth it. Uh, as someone who has looked into buying this level of detailed miniatures in the past. But let me know what you think by commenting below.